addiction to gambling, you're going to make a wonderful father one day. I took a lot of hits on Malcolm and Eddie uh, because my character was called ugly a lot. It was a miserable experience. Oh, no. Karen Molina White quickly became famous for playing Charmaine Brown on The Cosby Show in 1990. Despite appearing in only 13 episodes, Charmaine left a lasting impression on viewers. Her unique voice and charm made her character unforgettable. White's talent landed her a role on the sitcom Malcolm and Eddie, where she proved to be a valuable asset with her on-camera presence. However, behind the scenes, White faced challenges, including hurtful remarks from co-stars. <laughs> Aren't you letting me ask the question first? Okay, that makes sense. Go Despite ahead. trying to stay strong, the constant criticism on screen brought back Karen Molina White's insecurities and past hurts. She opened up about how it affected her, saying, it makes you feel desperate in your next audition. Am I pretty enough? Is my hair right? Am I too heavy? All those things. The intense scrutiny made her doubt her value and attractiveness in a tough industry. However, working on Malcolm and Eddie wasn't just hard. She almost lost her job because she's black. The show's success came from black talent, but later, the producers considered letting White go because of her race. This was a common trend of using black talent to boost ratings and then replacing them. White's time on the show was both the peak and lowest point of her career. Her boyfriend, Malcolm Jamal Warner, played a big role in saving her job when the producers wanted to reduce her character's importance. They wanted to add more white guys and demote me, White remembered. In the midst of all this, White turned to Buddhism, which changed her outlook on life. I took a lot of hits on Malcolm and Eddie uh, because my character was called ugly a lot. And, and it pushed my buttons, my personal buttons. Through practicing Buddhism, White learned to find happiness within herself rather than relying on external factors like relationships or career success. She discovered the idea of absolute happiness, realizing that true contentment comes from within. White's breakup with her partner added to her emotional struggles, but she emerged from this tough time with a clearer mind and stronger resilience. She said that learning about absolute happiness was life-changing and helped boost her confidence. Overall, White's journey through tough times led to personal growth and self-discovery. She worked hard to achieve her status in Hollywood, starting from her education at Harvard University and making a name for herself in acting, beginning with roles in Lean on Me and The Cosby Show. White's success continued as she portrayed Charmaine Brown, a beloved character, and transitioned to other roles in iconic sitcoms like A Different World and Malcolm and Eddie. Despite challenges in the industry and personal struggles, White remained dedicated to her craft and found ways to overcome obstacles. Even amidst disagreements and challenges, White's positive attitude and commitment to her work shone through, making her a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Through practicing Buddhism, White learned to find happiness within herself rather than relying on external factors like relationships or career success. She discovered the idea of absolute happiness, realizing that true contentment comes from within. White's breakup with her partner added to her emotional struggles, but she emerged from this tough time with a clearer mind and stronger resilience. She said that learning about absolute happiness was life-changing and helped boost her confidence. Overall, White's journey through tough times led to personal growth and self-discovery. She worked hard to achieve her status in Hollywood, starting from her education at Harvard University and making a name for herself in acting beginning with roles in Lean on Me and The Cosby Show. White's success continued as she portrayed Charmaine Brown, a beloved character, and transitioned to other roles in iconic sitcoms like A Different World and Malcolm and Eddie. Despite challenges in the industry and personal struggles, White remained dedicated to her craft and found ways to overcome obstacles. Even amidst disagreements and challenges, White's positive attitude and commitment to her work shone through, making her a respected figure in the entertainment industry.
we were at odds. What we both understood is we get to 100 episodes, we're going to have a sweet vacation. Ultimately, they cut us at 88. Warner and Griffin talked openly about how they wrote Malcolm and Eddie. They said most of the writers were white and didn't understand being a young black man in America. Griffin worked hard to make the scripts genuine. Warner didn't want the show to use stereotypical jokes. But during filming, he clashed with writers, producers, and executives who wanted the typical UPN comedy style. Griffin on making people laugh on screen, while Warner wanted to show a positive image. So, the writers focused more on Eddie's character because he was funnier. Despite their differences, Warner shared a touching ritual they did before each scene. No matter our arguments, before going on stage, we'd hold hands and pray, he said, showing their professionalism and unity. After Malcolm and Eddie, Karen Molina White got a big role voicing a character on The Proud Family for Disney. She also did stand-up comedy starting in 2009 and stayed active in theater, even though she disappeared from screens at times. White faced tough questions about her absences during interviews. She released a music video in 2014 showing her frustration with the industry. But despite the challenges, she stayed busy with roles in various shows like Southland and The Mentalist. Her perseverance paid off with a role in the Disney sitcom I Didn't Do It in 2015. White's last stage appearance was in Eight Nights in 2019, where she played a maid serving Martin Luther King Jr. on the day of his assassination. Throughout her career, White faced challenges like typecasting, but stayed resilient. She found comfort in stand-up comedy and grew as a performer. Her love for acting and dedication to delivering great performances never wavered. Despite the industry's ups and downs, White's talent and determination kept her going strong. She continues to captivate audiences, whether on screen or stage. Her journey in Hollywood shows the resilience needed to succeed in showbiz. As she grows as an artist, Karen Molina White will keep making waves in entertainment. Griffin focused